Hello everyone, welcome to a new episode of Near Replicant. Last time we left off, we got a lot done here in Facade, including some of the quests that we had to do. Um, let's see what we got left. Faded Fountain. Parts are being built. Okay, so we just have to return and turn that in. Uh, yeah, it's in flower, uh, seeds or whatever. That. Okay, you need 20 logs and a lot of iron ore, actually. Huh. You defeated the shade, report back to the client. The gate garden facade. Oh, okay, yeah, we did that one. Okay, let's go turn that in then. It's uh, you, right? Yeah. What's up, friend? There was a large shade hiding inside the sandstorm. That's what happened to your people. <laughs> Stay alert. Where there's one shade, there's usually more. 30,000 gold? That was worth it. I'm gonna need that gold to buy all the iron ore and logs that I need to do this quest here in Facade. <laughs> but that may be something we save for the next, uh, next playthrough. I think there's one last quest I want to do, and I think it might be in the Forest of Myth. Maybe? It's a- we- we don't have to do the quest, we get to the weapon anyway, once we unlock ending B. But, um... I don't know, I just- I- I wanna see if I can do the quest, maybe? What's the button? I'm getting, uh... I just got done playing Resident Evil, so I'm getting my controls mixed up there. I pressed the inventory button in Resident Evil to try and get myself an antidotal weed. Alright. Well, let's go. We gotta get back to town, and we'll see what we can do over there. I guess I can- I can talk to Devola, and she'll show me where the quest is that I need in her list of things. Oh, there. Uh, Nears Village. Lego. Yeah, we may actually do some main story stuff today. Um, I'm not sure if we would be able to finish our first playthrough today. I honestly don't know how long it takes. It's been so long. I marvel at how relatively simple a task this retrieval process proved to be. It is almost as if someone deliberately set us on this path. You're overthinking again, Vice. But... Uh, I don't care if it's a trap. Yuna's waiting for me and I'm going. I see. Yeah, I was about to say the music changed. What's the deal with that? They'll deliver the pump as soon as it's ready. Thanks much. Here's a little something, just because I care. 20,000. All right. Pretty good cash. Um, the materials person right here sells what I need. Thanks for coming. The logs. And we need 15 of them, which is a pretty chunk of change. Go get. Oh, God. We'll protect the village while you're gone. All right, uh, wait, Devil is not here and she doesn't say there's a side quest for me. Maybe it's because we're, we've like progressed the town to a new state, I guess. Huh, that sucks. I needed her to tell me where the quest was. Um, well, it's not one of the required quests and we can just do it next playthrough, so it's not the biggest deal. Let's just go, I guess, where we're supposed to. And go talk to Popola. And, uh, yeah, I th I'm pretty sure this is, like, point of no return here. Um, let me, uh, I did make sure I have, well, it doesn't matter. I need all the weapons next time, so me having all the weapons doesn't matter. Nothing matters for this first playthrough ending. I can just do it. So, let's go ahead and see if we can get the first ending here today. Maybe we can. But yeah, I don't have to worry about getting all the weapons, and uh, I can complete the rest of the side quests that I want to complete my next playthrough, so let's go. Yeah, you're here now. You're really gonna do it? The whole village is buzzing, you know. They say you're gonna go rescue Yona. I guess it's really happening, huh? I'll bring her back. I promise. Um about that yeah nothing never mind 
Popola just loves to worry. Anyway, you be careful. Yes, do be careful. Thanks. All right. God, this song is so good. Such a good song. All right, so if we went to the junk heap and bought the iron ore, we could go turn that thing in at facade. Do I, do I want to do that? I think we'll just get money. I think we'll just get money. So, maybe not? I don't know, man. Yeah, I was gonna do it, I guess. <laughs> he says he'll save the rest of the side quest for next time, but... I can't remember if you keep all your items or not, so... If I have most of the items needed to turn in a quest, I kind of want to do it. Um, and I do have most of the items for that quest in particular, so why don't we just go ahead and cross this one off the list as well. Bum, 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 bum. Dead so. And we can pick up some medicinal herbs going this way too, which we will likely need for the area we're going into. So, uh, sounds like a good idea to me. Just a quick trip over here. Oh yeah, we can see if we can upgrade our Phoenix Spear too, but yeah, I don't think we got... The broken uh, wristwatch, I think is what it was that we needed. We still need that. So, unfortunately, I don't think we're going to be able to upgrade our Phoenix Spear. Which saddens me greatly. But, whatever. We'll see. I'll at least check. Phew. This has been a long adventure, and we still got some to go. It's crazy to think about. Alright, what's up, Gideon? <laughs> Welcome. Uh, what can I help you? You gotta with? be creepy every time, dude. Okay, so yeah, we need iron ore. Oh my god, it's so expensive. We need fifteen, that's gonna be fifteen thousand. My money. Alright, whatever. Come. Dude, yeah, what can I, I, I want to strengthen with? weapons. There we go. Forging. Okay, can... Yeah, we can't do Phoenix Spear. We still don't have the stupid broken wristwatch. We can do some other things, but I don't want to waste the materials, to be quite frank. So, yeah, I don't think we're going to do that. I mean, I guess we could... No, we need the, we need the iron ore. I can't even upgrade those because I need the iron ore. Okay, whatever. Come back. <laughs> yeah, hee 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 hee. Weirdo. I'm sorry, that's mean. Gideon's been through a lot, and I realize that you can't exactly get a therapist out here in a post apocalyptic world, so. Yeah. It's rough. He's been through a lot and everything. I wish we could help him in some way. Um, it seems like the, uh, what was it, the barkeeper in, um, god, that bird made me freak out. <laughs> Once again, I was just playing Resident Evil, and there's some, like, flying enemies in that game, and I'm like, I saw that, and I was like, oh god. So I sort of freaked out a little bit. <laughs> I, like, my heart jumped. Uh, but yeah, it seems like the bartender in Seafront maybe cares about Gideon for some reason. I'm not really sure why. They seem strangely attached. Made me think that maybe the bartender in Seafront is secretly uh, Gideon's dad. I can't remember if they said they met their dad or not, or if their dad died. And then the mom was off with uh, the dude with the gold necklace. So maybe she was uh, looking. God, I just love that the song is playing here. Bum. Bum bum. Okay, so yeah, we gotta take the thing to the shrine. And see what we can do over there. I've seen some really cool... I, 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 I realize I haven't looked at many of the weapons to see how they actually look. There's one really cool weapon I saw on a screenshot. I think it was one of the two-handed swords. I'm not sure which one it would be, though. Um, not that one. Not that one. Uh, Vile Axe, Beast Lord, Iron Will... I think it's Iron Will. Yeah, I think that's what I was thinking of. 
Yeah. That one looks wild. What the hell? Well, that looks so weird. Labyrinth song. All right, so let's go. Oh, there. Getting on? Sure am. Take me to the. Not the Lost Shrine? Oh, no. Yeah, we are going to the Lost Shrine, but the waypoint is uh, at like a different spot because we still gotta actually walk there. Wish Nier would send letters every day like I do, but I know he's busy, so every other day is okay. Poor Yona. All right. Are we ready? Let's all make it back alive, okay? It's a plan. I'll try my best. Can't make any guarantees, though. You know, you don't know what's gonna happen. Phew! This has been a long time coming. Feels crazy to actually be here. I once again never thought I would be playing near on my channel, or that I even have a YouTube channel. <laughs> Uh, or actually uploading to it regularly, rather. Bang, 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 bang. Squirm around. It's actually pretty disturbing how they squirm on the ground. Um, sometimes, like, when you do a big combo on them. What are you doing? Can you not? What, what were you casting? Some kind of weird magic? I don't think I've seen one of you cast something like that. You had like a weird alchemist circle around you. It was very odd. Alright, let's get up here. Seems like we got even more shades to fight. Figures there'd be a ton of shades at the Shadow Lord's uh, area, I guess. Is the sword I'm looking for. His, his keep, his hideout. There we go. Like, all these words going through my head and I could not get the right one. Bang, 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 bang. Got another medicinal herb. We're not getting any drops from these guys, I can't help but notice. Whoa. Uh, flying enemy? I don't remember an enemy like that. Can you not knock them away so much, Kaine? I want to get any drops that they may have, if they even drop something. They may not drop something. You know what, let's just leave them. I'm trying to figure out how to get the stupid wristwatch, stopwatch... ...thing. I don't know why we need that to upgrade our Phoenix Spear, but... Maybe we want to add a kill counter to it, like the stat track weapons in, uh... Counter-Strike. <laughs> oh boy. Alright, so... let's go. Die, die. Can you guys, please. Humor me here. And just let me kill you easily. Come on. Bing, 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 bing. I realize I could just run past you, but... Ooh, a strength capsule. That'll be useful. Once I finish my secret dish, I'm gonna feed it to Nier. Then he'll see how helpful I can be. Bum. Alright, so... Yeah, we probably just wanna head up, right? Yeah, this is the thing I, like, totally picked up, right? You must dispatch the nearby- Oh, I- Okay, I saw the thing for you must dispatch the nearby threat, but I never went back and actually grabbed the root. Why do I need to dispatch the threat before I can pick up the root? Well, I'm gonna pick up the root this time, hopefully. So, can you not? Okay, we got a recovery potion. Now we're good, right? That's the last of them. Now let's get a piece of that tree root. Okay, cool. Yeah, so I didn't do this last time. Well, there this we go. Be enough root. Let's get it back to that guy. Okay, well that explains that. Like I said, I could have sworn I picked it up. And I did examine it, but I did not pick it up. You guys not? Okay, fine. Unfortunately, that doesn't break your guard very long, this, uh, attack. Or at all sometimes, it seems. Strong attack seems like the most consistent way to do it. Or probably just having a heavier weapon. These guys don't even really seem like they're dropping anything, so it doesn't even seem worth it to bother fighting them. No way. 
Ooh, new word. Armor break. That'd be useful right about now, but it doesn't feel like it's such a problem that I need to, uh, put a, uh, word on for. Like, the armor's annoying, but it's not so annoying that I feel I need to put something like that on. I wish I could knock your stupid weapon out of your hand so you'd stop preparing me. There we go. Dead. Out of here. That wasn't even the way I needed to go. It was this way. Yeah, we gotta go in here and... Boxes. Boxes. Later, whoever was in there. Uh, later, you guys. You do your thing in there. I got better things to do. Alright, so... Oh, hi. What's up? Yeah, you're gonna go down pretty quickly, friend. Later. Thanks to the elaborate machine, though. Okay, now we can just go up. Oh, I know we can't. We do have to go that way. Damn it. Green medicinal herb, though. Alright, so yeah, we do actually have to go this way, and then there's like a ladder over there that we go up. This music's still playing. I thought it was just for that fight, because it was like a kind of a boss enemy, but maybe it's just hyping me up for the finale. That's probably what Nier's doing. Uh, Al. Go away. Later. <laughs> Don't have time for you guys. We got a lot of playthroughs to get through. Bang, bang. There we go. Bunch of spirit capsules. That'll be very useful. That's the increased magic damage one, I'm pretty sure. Uh, another big boy. There we go. Thanks to the complex machine. Later. Oh, we can't go that way. Which way do we go then? This way? No. Through the door here? Through the door here. This is where we go. You guys still out there fighting? How droll. And we can just evade the enemies and run through the doors. <laughs> Medicinal herb. And I'm already full on now. I should pop one of those. Actually, I had an itch. There we go. Alright. Let us continue on our way. Now we're all the way up here. I'm not gonna let you mages do your thing. That's just not gonna happen. Recovery potion. I should uh, make sure I remember where those uh, weapons I haven't gotten are. Because I think there's one or two. I think it said it was in the Shadow Lord's castle. And right now we're in just in the shrine, so I think we're good. All right, you guys are annoying. Bang, bang, bang. Break that guard, Sonny. Dead. Uh-huh. Hi. So where are we going? This way? No. Ooh, I didn't know about that running attack. That was sort of cool. Ah, this is the way. Okay, it's not, it doesn't really do much, unfortunately. Their running attack. There we go. Let's get you all in a nice big pile. Ripe for murder. Bang. No? Die, please? It's so annoying how consistently they block, <laughs> like... They just don't have a stamina bar. Well, they do have a stamina bar, but... It's such a long stamina bar. It takes so long to break their guard. They're really good at blocking. I guess I'm the same way, though. I just never use my block. I wonder why the shades are getting so strong. They were never this powerful before. 
It seems the Shades are continually expanding their forces. Looks like they'll just keep pushing us humans back, huh? No. I'll find a way to stop it. Alright, well we made it up here. Um, I don't really think there's much that we care about here. That we need to investigate. I don't believe. Alright, so let's just, uh, keep going this way. And, uh... That's one of the armored mages, I think. Bang, 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 bang. That charge attack is really good. Ooh, item drop rate plus 30%. Okay, well that's going on, um... That was on our weapons, right? Uh, no, we need to actually get a word at it. Uh... Wait, I don't have... Oh no, I don't have words on my... <laughs> have I really not? I thought I had words on the Phoenix Spear. Oh no! Oh well, it's not that big a deal, but... I've been getting by just fine. Yeah, I never switched them over from, uh, Sunrise. Oh boy, that's embarrassing. But, as we can see, it didn't really make that much of a difference. I'm still doing buku amounts of damage, although it probably would've helped- Having the extra drop rate on probably would've helped when I was farming those machine oils and stuff. So... that's a bit unfortunate. Uh, where we go from here? Yeah, here's where we go. Alright, here we are. We'll go ahead and hit up the save point. There we go. The Lost Shrine Roof. Let's see what we got in here. Merchant passed through the village today and she just kept pulling the crazy stuff out of her big bag. She said her name was Accord. Such an ominous sight. And yet I find it strangely nostalgic. Yeah. This is where Vice and I first met. And first fought together. Wow! This is where you used to live, Vice? Well, yes, I suppose. In a technical sense. Pretty nice digs for a floating magazine. At least it was free from annoying hussies like yourself. Alright. Gotta readjust in my chair here. You cannot turn back from this point. Continue? Yes. And now the path is open. Alrighty. Let's go. It's just, um, I, one of the funny things I always heard about Yokotaro games is there's an astonishing amount of people that quit after the first playthrough. And in Nier Automata, they like added, be like, please keep playing the game. There's more playthroughs that expand the story. <laughs> because so many people played Nier and they beat the game for the first time, the first playthrough, and they were like, okay, I'm done. Okay, I do believe I have to talk to those doves. I think I get a weapon for that. So we gotta make sure we do that, I believe. Boxes? Nothing. Yeah. Okay. Doves. To whom does the true voice speak? To whom does the true form show itself? You must answer. It can talk! I ask, why did humans disappear from the world? The hell is this? I believe this is some manner of password. Password? Yes. The correct answer should grant us access to the castle. I feel confident I have heard this somewhere before. Heard it somewhere before. To whom does the true voice speak? To whom does the true form show itself? I ask, why did humans disappear from the world? You must answer. Because of a black disease. I answer, because of a black disease. I ask, 
How can humans extend their lives? Uh, by acquiring leaves of the sacred tree, or by separating body and soul, body from soul. I think it's by separating body from soul. I answer by separating body from soul. I ask, what is the destination of soul? They are placed in their corresponding shells. I answer, they are placed in their corresponding shells. Very well. You are acknowledged as master. You may enter. Well then, it seems the way is open. Well, there we go. We did it. Aha, uh here's a weapon. One-handed, the two-handed sword, the phoenix sword. Look at that, we got the phoenix sword now. Um, it is a two-handed weapon, the phoenix sword. Um, I wanted to, oh, this is word edit, whoops. Yeah, I wanted to look at the story. This is a story a long, long time ago. There was once a beautiful bird with the splendid feathers that lived in quiet life, a quiet life in a deep forest. It looks pretty cool. It's not as powerful as my spear, though. But it looks cool. Uh, alright, so... Yeah, there's that. Um, let me refer to my weapon list really quickly to make sure there's nothing else we need to get here. Okay, no, there's, there's one more weapon we gotta find here. Um, and that's it. That is it. There's one more weapon we gotta find here. That was the one I was supposed to find by the doves. So let's go. See what else we can do. It's the twins from your village. Popla, Devila, what are you doing here? Hey, any chance you'll just go back to the village? Uh, why do you say that? This is a very dangerous place. Even if you can find Yona here, you probably can't get her out. How did you get here? Shh. We're asking the questions right now. What are you two doing here? What are you two doing here? I'm not going to answer that. You can figure it out yourself. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and assume that you're protecting the Shadow Lord. Cool! We're here to rescue Yona. No dice, huh? Well, I guess we don't have a choice then. No, I suppose not. How sad. I love your music so much. Don't make me kill you. We didn't want to fight you. We really, really didn't want to. Oh, that music. Devil, what's happening? Sorry, but this fate was predetermined. Still, we spoke to truth. We really wanted to avoid this if possible. We were hoping to put it off for a hundred years or so. Until the next generation came along. What are you talking about? Are they shades? I don't think so. It's a lie! I don't believe it! We never thought you'd grow to be this powerful. This is madness. Why do you block our path? You have no cause to speak so with us, Grimoire Vice. You are a traitor. sealed verses of course we can the power came from us in the first place you were simply loaned a small portion of it. Vice, 
Are you all right? Tabula, Popola, why are you guys doing this? Why are you siding with the shades? Oh, you were trying to punch me. I saw that. Ow. Okay, I think that's one of them down. Who's doing the punching? I like you. I like punching. <laughs> Why? The answer to every riddle lies within the heart of the Shadow Lord. The Shadow Lord? So you've been on his side this whole time? You must search for that answer yourself. You've got to face your own truth now. Please, enter the Shadow Lord's castle. Well, thanks for giving me a map, at least. Devola and Popola are fighting us. Yes, they do seem to be putting us through a great deal of... You okay, Vice? How odd. For long years, my mind and tongue have been my greatest assets. But now the latter seems to be... Well... Vice? Do not look at me like that. I am Grimoire Vice. I am perfect with... Vice? Are you good, friend? I think I hear a waltz. A waltz? Oh. Are we gonna dance? Dance battle? DDR battle against Shadow Lord? Uh, a dancing bastards. They're all shakes. And now they're gonna die. I think we're locked in. It's not like I was planning to leave. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit late for that. Now get that shield out of here. Uh-uh. No shield for you. Uh, let's go ahead and hit you guys with some magic, why don't we? Whoop. Wow, weird roly-poly attack. No, quit that. Alright. Armor break plus 30%. That would probably be pretty useful against these guys in particular. But I've got magic. Bluey, 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 bluey. Stab you in the back. Boom. Ooh, there it is! Broken wristwatch! Finally! Okay, we'll have a an upgraded Phoenix Spear next playthrough then. Boom. And boom. Okay, this is actually a better way of taking down the armored guys. This attack comes out so much faster than that other one. And I like the little spin that we do. Yeah, that's a very good attack actually. It feels very strong, and like it does a lot of damage. Close book. No, you don't. Yeah, that does a lot. It hits a bunch of times. Leather boots. Okay. Boom. Pirouette all day. Uh, oop, big boy. There we go, dead. We got a new word, EXP rate plus 30%. That's cool. Oh, 
you're up in the air. Well, that's problematic. Okay, there's times where you don't have your magic shield, though. Damn it. Like then. It won't stop coming. I'll open the next door. Cover me. Okay. Twice. Oh, right. Protect the hussy, yes? Good plan. Let's go. <laughs> oh, yes. Protect, Protect the hussy, yes. Thing. Okay, so I gotta protect Kaine. Kaine, hurry! It's not open yet. Do I look like a goddamn locksmith to you? No, you idiot! What are you doing? Well, it doesn't want to open. Fine, I'll just break it down. Stop, you impatient fool! Goddamn, no good, bullshit bastard! Open the fuck up already! Ugh! Got it. Kaine, look out! Huh? Are they laughing? She's Got it. Freaking me out. That was a good delivery. She turned around and was like, got it! Kaine! What's wrong? We need to help Kaine! Well, we probably should kill these things first, right? If that's what I'm thinking. We need to help Kaine! Okay, never mind. We gotta do that first. You okay? Yeah. Well, we got problems. <laughs> Weird chestnuts. Oh. Shadow boar. Or shade boar, sorry. Got it. Alright, well, let's go. We don't need forgiveness, asshole. Ow. Who in the world are you talking to? <laughs> Alright, let's just keep pelting you. Bang, bang, bang. Whoop. Almost, but not quite. Oh dear. An armored one now? A dirge for the hero. Ooh, that's big damage. That was almost a dead boar already. Now it is a dead boar. What's happening here? Do I have to knock all, all of his armor first? This thing? Oh no! I can't stop now. Damn it! Stay focused, Kaine. Don't fall victim to such distractions. Come on, we have to keep going. Let's go. That's big damage. Oh, we're supposed to leave? Is that what we're supposed to do? It's locked. Never mind. <laughs> this way. Move. Oh, okay, this way. I was I was just at the wrong door. Gotcha. Yeah, I was thinking it was like trying to poison us or whatever. Fill the room with like poison gas. Oop, and there's our other weapon. The Dragoon Lance. Is that better than my Phoenix Spear? Uh, no. 
He had grown old. The king's dauntless gaze had lost its light, and his stalwart body had grown soft. What's more, every ounce of fear and vanity he had gained with age now gnawed away at his heart. The king was afraid, so he repeatedly ordered the invasion of neighboring countries so as to hold on to the lands he had been sworn to protect. The king was afraid, so he tried to take everything through violence and oppression, for he no longer trusted his own advisors and vassals. That's, uh, called paranoia. Um, so, what- how are we on weapons now? 87% weapon collection. God, I feel like I'm- I feel like I'm missing some stuff. I'm- I'm gonna look one last time just to make sure I have literally everything that I possibly can right now. Alright, yeah, we've- we've gotten everything we can get. I think the reason my weapon collection percentage is so low is because there's three DLC weapons that I haven't gotten yet. But, uh, I don't think they count for, uh, the weapon completion you need to get the final ending. I may get them anyway. Just keep running. It's all you can do, really. Please, hurry. Wow, my strat is like my like movement strat is super good for this area in particular. <laughs> okay, it's behind that door. Damn it, I can't get it open. Attack incoming! Ooh. Ah, I tried to dodge it. Ah. Down. It seems we are in a bit of a predicament. Yeah, how are we gonna murder this thing? Ow. Ow. Can you not? Ugh. Ooh, I dodged that one. Okay, what are we supposed to be doing here? I'm sorry. Oh wait, get it to run into this? Maybe? No? Okay, never mind. I thought maybe, but Get out of here, then. You guys are the best. Hey! Stop! Let me go! Stop it! Damn it! King, no! Go. No! Open the door! You can't fight that thing on your own! You cook it! Oh, Tauki! Arda, 
ケロアルテリアダセギウジーカクイシギシシンチューカレルタカイザンテーラスアンダアラタテウラヌペルアトチウラヌペルアトチウラヌペルアトチウラヌペルアトチウラヌペルアトチウラヌペルアトチウラヌペルアトチウラヌペルアトチウラヌペル God, always such an awesome scene. And him like joking around and being like, How many rules are there for what you scream before you die in battle? And they're like, 88, sir. It's just such a nice, it's such a cool moment. And Nier is obviously quite sad. Well, look at this boss fountain. Bunch of healing items and a long hallway. I think I know it's at the end of this. All right. We've been waiting for so long. Why are you doing this? It began 1300 years ago. Humanity, finding itself on the brink of extinction, undertook a last ditch rescue plan called Project Gestalt. Gestalt? Do you still not remember, Grimoire Vice? Then let's give you a refresher. <laughs> Obtained Project Gestalt documents. We need to read those when we get the chance. Vice! My... Mine... I... I remember... Devola... Opala... You are not human. In fact... Oh no... <laughs> Yeah, sometimes the truth can be a real bitch. You want to finish that thought for him, sister? All of us, every person standing in this room, are mere shells created by the true humans. What are you saying? You still don't get it? You aren't human. So then, humans, I mean, the true humans, are extinct? No, they still live on. You know them as shades. And there it is! <laughs> Each shade is a twisted remnant of what was once a human being. Crazy, huh? Now let's skip the part where you stand there with your mouths agape and just get down to business. Wait. Wait! Sorry, but we're gonna be needing that shell of yours. The rightful owner has been waiting for a very long time. Please don't be angry with us. We are only doing our duty. Our endless existences have a single purpose to control the lives of others in accordance with the will of the true humans. You have your own motives, your own desires. And we have ours. I fear it really is just that simple. Don't speak such foolish mess. <sighs> Sorry. Well, let's go then. Also, I'm gonna go read those documents in the middle of this fight. I know that's、uh, a bit weird, but、um, these are important. So, Project Gestalt Report. As noted in the previous report, implementation of Gestalt mode can prevent the white chlorination syndrome we recently experienced. 
Transfer of bodily information to civilian repressed replicants is proceeding as planned, with the genes of the originals safely stored inside. Our role as surveillance androids to prepare for when our role as surveillance an androids to prepare for when the incurable bacterial disease eventually dies out is also underway. So far, this is proceeding without issue. So basically, there was a big disease called white chlorination syndrome that was uh, attacking humanity, and they were on the brink of destruction. So basically, they made a shell of themselves so that they could then return to that shell at a later point in life. Um, but obviously things went bad, and shades are actually like humans that have basically, um, you know, been killed by the Black Scrawl or the White Chlorination Syndrome. That I'm still fuzzy on, it's been a bit. But the one thing I've been meaning to say this entire time is this is how it actually connects to Drakengard. Um, specifically Drakengard 3, I believe. Um, basically just giving a quick thing without going into the story too much. At the end of that game, there's like one of the endings you can get. And it's like not even a super canon ending. It's like one of the weird spinoff ones where you're riding your dragon and you like get sent through a portal to what is basically modern day Tokyo. And I think you die when you get there. And when you die, you like basically spread the, this white chlorination disease. When you and your dragon died, it spread this disease to humanity and humanity started dying from it and that's how Drakengard connects to this I'm probably getting some of the smaller details wrong but basically that's what I remember protagonists from Drakengard go through a port get sent through a portal they appear in Tokyo um I think I think the Tokyo like air force like shoots down the dragon because they're like holy shit a dragon and then when they die it spreads this unknown disease and humanity starts dying so that's basically the way it connects to this. So that is what white chlorination syndrome is and where it came from. I th we may see more about that now, but I've been waiting to say that forever. This document discusses potential strategies for the relapse cases we have observed in recent years. The term relapse, of course, refers to the catastrophic loss of sentience seen in certain gestalts. The syndrome has defied even our most pessimistic initial estimates and continues to trend upward with disturbing speed. With some relapsed gestalts beginning to attack replicants, there is an urgent need to take comprehensive action. We remain convinced that an unknown technological de defect in the gestalt transformation process is responsible for the condition, but so far we have been able to, unable to confirm this theory. Research of this condition is now our top priority, and looks likely to continue for a short time. So, the gestalts were the, were the normal humans, and the replicants are the shells. So, Nier, Kaine, Emil, we're all replicants. And the shades we've been defeating are part of the Gestalt project. And basically, like, they didn't know this was going to happen when they did it. Shorthand minutes of case 23, emergency response conference. Issue. Observed upward trend in relapses. Noted and discussed. Acceleration of restoration schedule. Debate over using codename Noir for human restoration schedule. Preparations to launch VICE decoding system for above. Order collection of guidance and release code for near alongside vice launch. So, um, I don't think near in this particular instance is important. I, I don't know because it, because it's my name, but it's also the name of the game. I don't think that near the word near actually shows up in the game normally. So I think that this is just my character name. Order collection of guidance and release code for the player character alongside vice launch. So Noir was the schedule for them restoring humans into their shells. And Vice is the decoding system for Noir. So they need Vice before they can activate Noir to restore humans. Yeah. Okay. So... And then, yeah, Devil and Popolo were observers this entire time. We have determined that the rise of relapses was due to an unexpected spike in the sentience of replicants. As well as a genetic instability within the original Gestalt. It seems that the original's effect on bodies that have un undergone the Gestalt process was not anticipated in advance. Immediate action must be undertaken to identify the links between this trend and the original Gestalt, along with its sister, the relapsed case known as Yona. Okay, so the original Gestalt was us. We're the original Gestalt. <laughs> um, not, not us right now. We're, we're the replicant of the original Gestalt. This is getting into, like, Kingdom Hearts territory. But the Shadow Lord is the original Gestalt. 
because the Shadow Lord you probably noticed looks a lot like Nier. That's because the Shadow Lord is is Nier's Gestalt. So, and along with its sister, the relapsed case known as Yona. So Yona relapsed along with him. The observer contact group is growing uneasy, so finding a solution to the relapse issue should be considered a top priority. So basically, they they had this problem with the disease, they created the solution so that humanity could live on, and then they started having problems with their solution. It's a lot of text and everything, but um, yeah. What are these? I thought I read these. Yeah, no, I did read these. Why do they say they're still new? Yeah, that's the stuff about uh, Emil. All right, so with that, let's go ahead and get back to the fight. Why don't we? Okay, now it's playing the music. Ow! Can you not do that? You and us, we're the same. Tools in the hands of a master. No, I'm nothing like you. New battle music. I'm liking it. Big damage. Ow. Can't hit me. Nope. Too quick. Poke, poke, poke. They're almost dead. Uh, there we go. Devila? Devila? Popola. Are you crying? No! Don't die! You know, Popola, I understand now why we're twins. It's because... Because we were born without souls. <sighs> Devla! I can't stop the bleeding! Oh god, I can't stop it! This world is too... Uh, too lonely for one without a soul. There's too much... Emptiness. Our souls are missing. And yet somehow our tears still work. It's kind of weird. Sorry, sis. I love you. Devil! Devil! Don't you go! No! No, I can't be alone! I gotta play this song. Don't do this, you and Devil were like parents to me. Those two have watched the world wither from time immemorial. The coolness of such things is difficult to imagine. I don't want to do this. I don't want to fight her. Stop bitching and start fighting. It's the only way. We're not really doing a lot of damage to her, if you haven't noticed, Kaine. Okay, now we are. There we go. We, they're, they're just waiting for the dialogue to finish. There we 
There we go. No stopping. No stopping ever. The bridge. Blast. I've got an idea. <laughs> I fear we're done for. It'll be all right. You know, when I was young, I... I hated my eyes. And now that I'm older, I hate what my body has become. But there's something else there now. Something like... pride, you know? I mean... Without all this, I couldn't have become your friend. Goodbye, my friends. Thank you for everything. Emil! For so long, all I could do was destroy. But now, I have a chance to save something. No! Now get going, okay? Emil! Don't worry about me. I'm gonna be fine. Emil! Emil! <gasps> Emil! You jackass, get back here! Emil! Oh dear. Kaine's so unstable, and Vice can't stop arguing with people. I hope they can hold it together once I'm gone. Well, I guess they'll just have to learn. you again just one more time <laughs> I'm scared I don't want to die No, not best boy. <laughs> Damn it, Emil. Ugh, always a sad scene. Ha <laughs> 
God, the endings in Nier are so good! <laughs> oh, the emotion. Oh boy. Can I get a save point, please? Before we do this final fight? That would be just dandy if I could get a save point before this final fight. And, uh, yeah, the other thing that's super sad about this is now that we know the truth of, uh, the Shadow Lord, all he wants is his sister back basically the same reason that Nier is doing all of this. He just wants his sister back. But they can't both have her. It's really sad. Trading two versions of a person that each want the same thing. Yeah. What a... So many revelations that happen here. Ooh, wordsmith. Physical strength plus 30%. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, um, well, we should put that on, uh, our stuff. So that was, um, martial arts, right? Yeah, so we need Bezuloth on both of these. All right, here we go. Let's go ahead and get in here. What do we gotta do here? Save point, please? No save point? This might be a monstrously long episode. It could very, very well be a monstrously long episode. Weapons. Attack power plus 30%. Okay. Probably gonna put that on as well. Let's go ahead and do it now before I forget. So... We're using you. Pahaloth. I wonder how many- what our progress is like on the words. I should have checked that while I was in the menu. Broken saw. That's a rare. Thank you for that. Pretty sure we have to kill these enemies before we can progress. That's why I'm doing all this. I think we definitely get a chance to save before the final boss, so I should be good here. Um, let's go. Or we don't get a chance to save. Um, Alright, so what I'm gonna do really quickly because I'm paranoid is just make sure 
uh, of what I need to do for this ending. I think we just have to beat the game. Like, this first time. I think this first ending is just like, beat it, and that's it. Uh, to see this ending, just play in a linear fashion. The first time you play through, you'll always get... Okay. The first time we play through, we always get ending A. And after that, we can make a post-game save. Okay. So. Yes. This is it. This is it, right here. And then we'll have to make a post-game save. It's here. Strike hard. Hold nothing back. We are gonna strike hard. You know, he said hold nothing back. It's hell. You're too hope to stand against the sh Battle Lord. Don't speak in such a manner, fool. I am nothing like you. Okay, I was holding off there for a second because I wanted to see if more dialogue was gonna play, but Noir is down. He wasn't available to attack yet. Oh god. Knight. Okay, there we go. I was trying to lock onto you. Okay, we can't counter you. That's good to know. Ooh, yeah, we can. I just gotta be better on the timing there. Ooh, okay. Gotta be careful there, too. Ooh, okay, you're going for that. Uh-huh, you're shooting out some spears at me. Can't help but notice you have a ton of HP, friend. Big damage. You alright? Whoop. Take damage. Sweet. someone else's body. I don't want it. There's another girl inside this body. I can hear her. She won't stop crying. She says she wants to see her brother. Jonah's been possessed? This girl loves her brother too, just as much as I do. It's not right, you know? It's not right that she can't see him.
I just... I don't know what to... I'm so very sorry. No matter what. Just know that... I love you. The shade that possessed her is gone. Kanye, watch over Yoda for me. The other thing to keep in mind... I understand your sadness. You think I'm gonna sympathize with you? I swore to protect my sister and my friends. If someone puts them in danger, they must stand aside or be cut down. Now come on, let's finish this. The other thing to, th to know about this is the beginning of the game when we were playing, we were playing as the Shadow Lord, actually. Which is super funny to think about. What's wrong? You're freaking me out here, Vice. What are you doing? Come so far. Ah! Do it! Strike the killing blow! I'm trying, man. He won't stop teleporting away. Ooh. Ow. God. You're... Uh, really annoying, actually. And then he just teleports away. Ah! Close. idiot has decided to push me beyond my limits. I should have taken that job as a cookbook when I had the chance. Bless. Sorry. Sorry. Only joking. I hate cookbooks. But let's go out of the way. I have one final task to fulfill. Where are you going? Why to stop him, of course. But after that, it's up to you. Only you can see this battle to its conclusion. I wish you luck, my friend. You can't. I swore I'd always fight by your side. <sighs> you are an exceedingly stubborn lad. You know that, yes? Perhaps that's why I've so enjoyed our time together. But I fear this is where our journey ends. Vice! Oh, and remember what I told you about using my full name. <sighs> well, forget it. I've grown rather fond of Vice. Vice. I knew you'd come around. Don't let it go to your head now. Grimoire Vice has lost all of his powers. I have something to do. Ben, I have a reason to live. Ah, he's, he, I can't hit him. He's got all these things blocking him. There we go. Can't block magic. Can't block magic. Gotta watch my HP here. Ah! There's another one! 
We need one more hit. A world in flux. Oh, cool, we got a side quest. <laughs> Is Yona all right? Oh, God, no. Oh, yeah, and it wasn't lost on me that they walked into the light because that was how you got the shade out of the body, which makes a lot of sense. Oh, please, the girl is fine. Vice? Where are you? Are you okay? I am as well as can be, considering I have lost my physical form. Doubtless my voice will be the next to go, so listen closely. Your sister is safe. Do not mourn her, and do not give up hope. Instead, you must call her back to you. How? Use your memories. Recall the times you spent with her. Present her with proof that the two of you live still. And that your lives have meaning. I... I don't know. Typical. But take heart. I know you can do it. What's my favorite food? Cookies. What's my favorite book? That's my magic storybook. What's my favorite place? Home with you. What's my favorite flower? The lunar tear, of course. Okay, one more question. Who do I love more than anyone? Who do I love more than anyone? The near, of course. Uh, is that you? and yours alone. You look bigger than before. Like you've grown up. Well, yeah. I guess you haven't seen me for a while. Have I been asleep this whole time? Something like that. It's almost like I'm a princess from some fairy tale. Oh, Yona. I'm so happy to have you back. Me too. <laughs> Kaine. You and your sister, you have a good life, okay? Where are you gonna go? Guess I'll... You could stay with us, you know. Thanks, but I'll pass. You know how it is. I got my own shit to take care of. What do you mean? Personal shit, all right? Anyway, take it easy, yeah? Kind of. Hey, look. It's beautiful. For the longest time, I heard someone telling me how they wanted to see the light. can finally see it. All right. 
that the end of our first playthrough? I think there's five, four more after this. today yeah it sure is Well, there we go, and now we're in the credits. I hate to talk over this song, but I think we've heard it before. But I just want to give some quick thoughts about this. I, I personally love Nier. Um, I was very, very happy when they announced a remake, as it were, of this. And I getting to experience again for myself for the first time, actually, because before I watched the you know, an LP of it. It was a fantastic, fantastic feeling all the way through. And I obviously, I have my gripes with Nier, but the story is not one of them. And it's an absolute treat to experience every single time. Always an amazing, amazing experience. And uh, I've got four more playthroughs ahead of me, so we're not quite done yet. Um, obviously the last four playthroughs will happen a lot faster because I have done most of the side quests. And uh, we've collected all the weapons and stuff that we need to collect. Um, so it'll be uh, a lot more story progress than anything else. But uh, we still have a few side quests I'll probably try and take care of. So, With that, I think I'll be quiet and let these credits play. And I'll put it on screen if you want to uh, skip them.
It's so interesting how Yoko Taro does credits. He was just thrown in there with everybody else. He wasn't put on a pedestal or anything. Everybody was on the same level. It just went in alphabetical order. Every single person that worked on the game, all the way to some people that did like various voices for characters in the village to Yoko Taro himself. They were all on the same level. That's uh really cool. Really, really cool. So with that, we go over here and save. Uh, yes. And we have to make sure we never write over that, <laughs> I think, is how this works. So, yeah, there we go. Our save data's there. You know, maybe I'll make another backup just in case. Oh, that was just saving over the one I, I recorded now. Hope this recording's okay. Okay, well, there we go. Now we got two. I should have saved it there, but... Exit the clear data save screen? Yes. Ending B. Load your clear data after completing the game to experience Kaine's story. So that's what's going to be different this time. I was hinting that there was there was going to be multiple playthroughs, but I uh, wasn't really saying what, what was going to happen. But yes, we play as a different character. We're going to be playing Kaine. I believe, I believe we actually play as Kaine. I can't remember if it's just... Some things change, obviously. But um, I can't remember if we actually play as Kaine or not. Um... In Automata, you get to play as the other characters whose story you're experiencing, so... You can now read a departed mother's diary in your house. Wardrobe has been unlocked in the options menu. New outfits can be obtained by progressing through a departed mother's diary. Change music has been added in the game settings... Uh, section. Here we go. Saving, system data saved. Alright. And that is the end of our first playthrough of Near Replicant version blah 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 blah. So... I hope you've enjoyed this playthrough, um, and we have a few more to go after this, so stick around, I suppose, and uh, yeah, I'll see you next time.